Tonight, a 10 News viewer came forward with new surveillance pictures of a man who's been breaking into local businesses. He's recognized him as the same thief posing as a maintenance worker in our story last month. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips shows us what the thief took this time. Well, we're told this brazen thief has been targeting business after business here in Little Italy for the past three weeks. This is one of the latest businesses here at 555 West Beach. Local attorney David Miller provided 10 news with these grainy images from surveillance video of a man he says continues to hit businesses in Little Italy. This guy seems to be on like a one man crime wave down in Little Italy and he came through our building and hit three floors. That building, 555 West Beach Street in Little Italy, didn't steal anything during his trips in, but Miller says just last Tuesday he hit Q International School on 1500 State Street, just about a block away, stealing laptops and other things. I think we're all concerned. For, you know, everyone's keeping an eye on it. I mean, the guy's so brazen, he's doing it in broad daylight, multiple places, and he's not leaving that part of town. So it takes an incredible amount of nerve and you have to assume that he's probably prepared for a confrontation. At the end of April, we talked with Dennis Cammy Haas after a man who looks eerily similar to the one Miller says is hitting Little Italy, also dressed as a maintenance worker, slipped by the front desk, then proceeded to take Dr. Haas's wallet and money clip. He was in and out in about four minutes. He walks towards our front desk and very casually smiles at the front desk ladies and says, I'm from the building inspection, I need to check some power outlets and he just walks that way. Miller says police are hunting the thief and hoping they can track him down before he strikes again. Very slick, very practiced, and got an incredible amount of nerve. So be on the lookout. Preston Phillips, 10 News.